Hello my fellow stars, it's Vintrix here with another Minecraft video and today we're back with Farming Valley and I've been really enjoying the series and you guys have been also enjoying the series so far as I've been going through and in this episode I guess we could pay attention to more of the crops as you know we just we just put in these turnip seeds and, and now we're just waiting for them to grow which we need to do the daily watering and all that stuff just like how you take care of crops so each jam got to water them, they're gonna grow. I'm pretty sure a turnip, if I think about how many days it is, it's only five days to grow, so we don't have to wait too long. Too long. We just say five days, and pretty much it'll be growing. So, the thing I want to do is I think I had to grow the turnip, and I think I had to give it to her. You know, I got some spare water cans. Oh, yeah, she's got some spares in case I lose mine. And Ulif, if I look at him, he's got some, like, stuff I could buy. <laughs> the thing I really am looking forward to is the shipment box. If I didn't get one, I don't think I got one yet. But the shipment box is very helpful throughout the series because it helps you sell a lot of things that you don't need anymore. Like, I'll just say, if I put this here, all my crops grow and I want to sell them. I can put them on here, and the next day we'll make all the money from that certain shipment box. So, what we're hoping for is that we could probably get a lot of money and buy the general store, because I'm seriously going to go for the general store, because Jenny in that general store sells the seeds I need, and I need the seeds so I can grow a lot more crops than just these turnips right here. And hopefully this will go well. I learned also while off camera you could sell all this stuff, so... Maybe I'll pick up like this stuff daily. It's only one gold, but still worth it for how much I need to save, you know? And we just need money in general. Like, nothing wrong with making some money. Oh, that's not even what I meant to do. I actually meant to make a chest, but for some reason I almost made a crafting table. So, I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna place um, all the stuff, like these little things that you find, like medium stumps. There's stumps, and then there's logs, and there's just random, like, little stones like this, like a small boulder and stuff. Right, you can sell all these for 1G. I'm not sure if I can even pick this up. No, I can't. So, I'm gonna just be cleaning up the de these things every day. And also that these things could easily get in the way, so that's why I'm getting rid of them also. So if I need to start building again, and I want to build somewhere, the stuff won't be in the way, and I could just make one gold off of it every time I go to sell it. And a thing about me, if you guys don't know, I like to, like, throughout the series you may learn I'm going to be saving up the crops throughout a whole month. Because for me, I don't know why I like to do this, but... I grow my crops throughout the whole month, I collect them, I collect them, and then at the end of the month, on the 30th day of the actual, um, not month, but at the seasons, because this goes by seasons, um, at the end of the season, the 30th day of that season, I sell everything, and then the next day we make money, it'll be the start of the next season, so that's pretty much what I do for whenever I'm playing this, it's just one of the things I like to do, because... To be honest, it's kind of cool seeing how much stuff you could save up other than just, like, selling it every day. But for now, since it's our, like, first few days and we need to get the general store built, we might as well just sell this once it's done. It's turning nighttime. So we could sleep again and then we're going to water our crops for the next day. Another thing about this crop thing that really bothers me is when you go to water it, it takes a lot of your hunger because it takes up your stamina, so. Once we get further into the game, you're going to learn I'm going to probably have a lot more harder times getting food and stuff because whenever you're working on stuff like animals and all that stuff, your hunger just desecrates itself during the day of doing all that and it's it's not fun but it's a part of the pack so you can't control whether you like it or not and pretty much that's what I'm gonna go through so I'm just gonna keep sleeping this off because I want these to grow and all we have to do is just sleep um, next day water them sleep again water them and pretty much just keep doing it until they are finished growing and we can sell it and make some money off of it. Another thing that Ulif wants if it's to be, um, you know, other than gold he wants, if you want to build a building, you have to get wood also. So that's another thing we'll probably have to look for a lot of. He either wants wooden stone or just wooden items. I'm pretty sure he wants, like, 
normal stone, so I'm probably going to have to get some of that. I think I do have some stone laying around here. Yeah, some cobblestone. So I'm going to look up what, how much the general store takes up of my resources before we sleep again, because I just want to know before I get too overzealous, get excited about the gold I have, and then, you know, well, looks like he's not open right now. So he's open um, Sunday through Friday at 9, so we're going to have to wait till 9, because as you can see, below that spring right there, it says it's Friday, and it's only 7.07 .07 or like that in the morning. Time goes pretty fast in, in Minecraft. Like, you don't realize it, but time flies in Minecraft more than in real life, because if this is real life time, your life will be going a little bit too fast, but this is just Minecraft time, how Minecraft runs, so very interesting. So we got this huge, cool-looking ravine here. I'm actually amazed that the way we spawn, like, the place we spawn of all places has this huge ravine that I could just look down into. So I may as well just go around grabbing all these stumps and little stones and all that stuff. And then just collect them up throughout this month, so. You can see how much gold we get after it. So, I'm just gonna grab all this because it's pretty messy too and they're just lying around. So, we got a few more. a lot more time before we could actually talk to Eula for right now. So, this is the thing you have to wait till the shop is open. Why I wait? I'm actually gonna go through these birds' nests because they actually do give you quite some stuff. Like some of these, and then we got these bird nests. And sticks and some of the stuff that comes out of these are actually really good because if you guys don't know, um, you could give gifts to NPCs so you could become friends with them. The heart that is when you're talking with them, that changes color. So pretty much right now I have no relationship with any of the guys and I don't know why I just had a hiccup come up. Hiccups are the worst, especially when you're trying to do commentary. So got a few more. It looks like we got a flower from that, which could be helpful for when we talk to um, Jen, I believe. I don't remember her name. I always forget her name because I don't really pay attention too much to that character. Because throughout my gameplay, I don't really need to talk to her anymore in my solo world, so I completely forgot her name. So I kept calling her Jenny, which I didn't mean to. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to pull all that stuff up. And now we're going to go see how much he sells this building for. Because that's the first building we actually need. So our name is Jade, not Jenny. So building the best building for you. Yes, please. I want the general store. So, oh my goodness. 192 logs and 64 stone. Are you serious, man? A 3K? Really? You're going to make me get that much. Alright, I guess. So, we need to save up some money, as you guys can see. We need to save up quite the amount of money. And we need to get a lot of stone, which is just 64 cobblestone. I could just melt that down. But what we really need is a lot of wood. 900, 192, I think, is like a few stacks. Like, I don't remember how many stacks is. I'm probably going to do the math in my head and pretty much get that. So, this is about the pack. It keeps you busy. Uh -huh throw out everything and now I'm lagging. Oh, come on, you can do it. It sometimes does that. It's been doing that to me a lot in my solo world. Like, we're just instantly freezes for a moment. Then it just works back to normal. It's it's mod packs, you know? They never run without lag. It's just a normal thing for mod packs. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna chop down some of these trees so I can get some wood at least going. So, we got this on us, which is still nice, so it's like stacking up, but I need to stack up for this tree. I kind of wish there was like, vein miner in this, or even just something to help me chop down whole trees, because that'd be great to have like a lumber axe or something like that. Because the thing about this pack is when the hunger is hard to get, and then you have to like chop down these trees, it's not easy when your hunger goes down and... When your hunger goes all the way down, I don't think you guys have ever seen this, but your character gets exhausted, and it's just not fun to go through. But it's just a part of this pack, and I have to get used to that. And also, I have to figure out what other food sources I'll 
need around my house so that I could get a lot more food than what I have right now. Because as you guys know, I only have pork chops and then whatever is left in my house over there. So I'm just going to open that. I'm just going to search these and nests. So bird nests are really helpful because sticks can be used for plenty of things that we need in the future. Feathers will be used in the future for something and so many other things that I get from that. Especially gold nuggets are pretty nice to get from that. So I'm hoping that we could just get like the amounts of wood we could get. I don't remember how much stacks that is, that wood, that amount. So I'm going to probably have to add up all of 64s to see what we have. So, pretty much that. So I'm just going to collect this up and let's see what we got here. I think I'll do like the wood stuff off camera. Right now I'm just going to make sure I could get the gold going. Because the wood stuff is the most painful stuff and I don't want you guys to have to watch me doing that because it's like the most boring part. It's just me chopping down a lot of wood and we already know what chopping down wood is like so. Yeah. I want to make sure that we could get a lot of money so that we could actually do something. And it looks like I don't have to water my crops today because it's raining, so that's good. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to sleep again. And let's see what happens. They are all growing today. So when they're all growing, let me just put some stuff up. Uh, I have a lot of stuff on me again. That's the thing about me and mod packs is that I, I really get a filling up my inventory. I don't know how. I just tend to fill it up so fast. But as you guys can see, our crops are growing. So pretty much all you have to do is you just have to break them down just like that. So pretty much all you have to do is like that. And you can pick them all up. So I think she wanted me to talk to her at first when I grew them. So let's go see what she says. Maybe not some rocks. Okay, never mind. She doesn't want me to talk to her. All right. So this is one of the first crops that we ever get turnips. So I need more of these so I can make more money. Um, we're just gonna sell these for today. Um, so let's just sell these, and then to get more of them, all I have to do is just get Jade a bunch of flowers because. She wants to be a flower shopkeeper, so I just have to get some flowers for her, and she'll give me some of the seeds again that I could grow. So that's all I want right now is those seeds. Let's go back to her and see what she says about these flowers I just got for her. Hopefully she'll give me everything I need because I need a lot of those seeds right now. There we go. Oh. She took quite a bunch, actually. I had to learn how much she just took from me for those seeds. I thought she only wanted one flower per per uh, one of them, but apparently I was wrong. Maybe I maybe she needs five of them. Let's see. I think she needs five of them and then she'll give us these turnip seeds. So let me go test that theory. If it works, that just means we need five of each vanilla flower and she'll give me a turnip seed bag, which is very helpful. It's pretty worth it because it does grow a lot. So yeah, it's five each. So five each will give me one turnip bag and my cat's crying out in the living room because she's forever alone. Lol. Everybody's like sleeping right now because they're like taking their like good afternoon nap after work. So my cat and I are just lonely. I thought my cat would stay asleep, but I forgot it's like an hour before five. Yeah, I'm actually recording this a bit later today because I didn't really get the recording in this morning. And then when I heard that they went to sleep, it's like, yes, definitely go to record right now. So it was just the time I could steal while well, they all went to sleep. So I'm just going to go ahead. We're going to grab up all these beautiful flowers. We're going to get like 10 of them. I just want a lot of seeds throughout this area because, um, can I pick that up please? <laughs> flowers like the hardest hit boxes to hit for me and I don't know why. I just struggle hitting flower hit boxes. 
So if I get 15, that'll be three flower bags right there. So let me just go ahead and grab some of these too. Tall flowers, if I get bone meal, can be really good because if you guys didn't know, if you hit a tall flower with bone meal, that'll literally be like flower farming right there. And it'll be great. So I'm just going to grab more of these roses. Okay, okay, please. Why am I so bad at breaking flowers? It's not good. So I'm gonna build up 20. So I still have extra seeds. So let's just go like that, like that, and I need two more. Two more red flowers. Two more of these poppies. Ow. My thirst. Thirst is like the worst, man. This is another thing you have to take care of in this pack is your thirst, because if you run out, you'll start dying of thirst, and it's not fun dying of thirst, especially when you need your energy, and then that thirst just comes to make you suffer. So, let's just go like this, just like it, switch it back and forth, just like that. It's not the healthiest water, but it's water nonetheless, and it gets our thirst up easier, so that's why I do this. So I'm too lazy to get clean water because to get the normal filtered water, what you have to do is you have to literally get a water filter, which is like charcoal and some other stuff. What was it? It was charcoal and paper. What you do is you take the ball of water, you put that together with that, with that water filter, and then you have to smelt it. So yeah, it's a lot of work just to get it. So I'm going to go ahead and trade some of these with her. And I think just like that, we are good. We got a lot of them. So we got four of them. Alright. I think that should work because I think it's only three bags. And all I needed was one here. And now we got three for the next one. So now we can sleep out this night and I'll fill up my hunger again. What I'm happy about is that each day just gets your hunger back to full. So you have to take care of it yourself. But the only thing is it only fills up with the... Uh, so it looks like I got ship hoy. What does that mean? Ah, oh, because I ship my stuff. That's right. So we're actually already close to the amount I actually need. If I, I think if I sell this batch, I think I'll have the amount I need for the uh, the building. And then all I need to do is just go off camera and get all the wood and stone and stuff going, so that we can at least have that going. Oh, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start smelling that, that 12, and then maybe someday I'm just gonna get a lot of cobblestone, like a bunch of stacks of cobblestone so I could turn those to stone, and then we'll just have stone throughout the life of us so that we don't have to worry about anything. So I got this taken care of, it looks like. So I'm gonna put these three bags in here for now, just so I don't lose them. I don't wanna lose that right now. I'm just gonna go like that. Also, let me look in our achievement book to see if I can finish any other achievement. Like that as well as right click them. I think I've already done that considering we already have like our glass bottle, but I think they want us to make more bottles, but since I already have my bottle, I'm just gonna take of that because, you know, I just drink from this bottle every day. And I'm too lazy to get glass going, because that'll just be a waste because I'll never use the other bottles, so yeah. Get logs and then hold them in your hand, take them to her again. So yes, we already got that. We already got this one done. Spawn the Harvest Queen again, continue the tutorial if we're done. Speak the date, ask her for the farm crops, seed turnips. Get the turnip seeds from grow seeds. Give the turnips back to Jade once growing. I tried that, but she didn't talk to me. Hmm. Maybe I'll try again after these ones grow. But she didn't talk to me at all now you think of it, if you look at that. I went to her and I tried to talk to her, but maybe, um, you know. Buy shipment box, we did that. Sell your fish crops by right clicking. So I've sold something. So I guess I could do that. And then we need the general store soon. But right now we don't have the amount for the general store. So we're just going to sleep out this day. We have gotten a lot of achievements throughout the time that we've been playing. So, hey, we finished a good amount. So I'm pretty happy about that. We're going to sleep again for a few days. I'm going to grow these turnips again because that's just what we need to do. 
And hopefully this time she'll take my my turnips because she did not take that one. I talked to her and she didn't take it at all. She just left me there, man. I'm just gonna take that because it's near my garden and pretty picky about stuff being in my area. So you're gonna be seeing me pick up a lot of those stuff because they are just everywhere and then there's some places I probably won't want them to be. So now that I finally found out I could sell them, it just makes life a lot easier. So now all I have to do is just go like this and let's go see if I take a turn up to her. I think I have to have only one in my hand probably. Maybe that's why. Let's put one in my hand. Let's talk to her and see what she says because it tells me to talk to her. So. Hmm. She's not talking to me about it. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I was clicking because I was trying to get through here. I'm confused. I'm very confused because she's not talking to me. Am I supposed to talk to the Harvest Goddess? I don't know. Jade's not talking to me, Harvest Goddess. What do I do? You know what? Let's just go like this. Let's just go here. Let's just grab all these flowers. So maybe I have to talk to the Harvest Goddess. Maybe that's what to talk to. I don't know, actually. I am a very confused human because Jade just won't talk to me. She's like completely ignoring me. Now she's going to completely ignore me because I accidentally punched her with a turnip. Okay? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> really? You know what? Do I have to gift it to you? Okay, fine. I give up. I'm raising the white flag. I'm just gonna say I did it, okay? Let's just say I did it. Give the turnips back to Jade after once grown, but she didn't talk to me. She's completely ignoring me. And I gave her one of my turnips and she's still ignoring me. Feels feels great, man. Jade, why do you do this to me? So we're almost finished with one part. We're almost finished with this whole like newbie part, I guess I could say. So now we just need to get the general store soon. So let me see after, how much I'll get after this sell. We're going to replant the ones that we have in there so I can get this going. So let's get these planted. There we go. Let's get them watered so that they will grow because if you don't water them I'm pretty sure it's going to kill them. So let's go ahead and go like that. And let's just see what happens. Let's see if we get the amount of money I need. Because right now we're at 2k. There we go, 4k. So now all I need to do is get all the wood. But I'm going to do that off camera. I know this episode is going to be pretty short. These episodes are going to be pretty short than my other videos. Because 22 seconds is definitely shorter than my other videos. I'm pretty sure a lot of them stop at this time. But yeah. I think that's where we're going to wrap up this video, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video and you guys like the series and you want to keep seeing it going, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you guys like the content I put up and you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and join the Fellow Star family today so you can keep up to my latest videos and all that stuff. So be sure to do that. And also, if you guys are new, I have a Discord that you guys can join. It's like a nice public Discord for you guys to get along, for you to use stars to bond at, and also where I like to do my announcements of when I'm live or when a video goes up so you guys can go check those out also if you guys like Minecraft maps because I really love to make Minecraft maps and Minecraft skins you guys can go check out my also planet Minecraft account both links to the discord and to Planet Minecraft are down in the description down below so be sure to go follow those if you guys want to do that stuff so yeah I guess that's all I have to say for today and I'll see you guys in the next video live stream see you my fellow stars